You've heard of sweeping things under the rug. I got a job in high school, thanks to a friend of mine who did the same job, which was cleaning the theater. And what he taught me was this little trick that instead of sweeping the popcorn up and disposing of it, you sweep it under the carpet runner. So we literally practice sweeping things under the rug, something I'm sure the owner would not have been happy about. Peter tells us there are certain things, five to be exact, that you should not sweep under the rug, but you should sweep them directly out of your life, get rid of them. The first of which is malice, our topic today. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published three times a week. Peter has been writing that we should love deeply from the heart. We do this because we've been born again of imperishable seed. So 1 Peter 2 verse 1, therefore rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy and envy and slander of every kind. What is malice? It is ill will toward people, the desire to do harm to somebody, to injure them. Now, sometimes when we have malice in our heart, we actually enjoy the thought of that person being harmed or injured in some way. We say, well, good, they deserve it. When we have malice towards a person, have you noticed that we attribute wrong motives to whatever they do? The kind of grace that we might extend to someone else, we don't extend to them because our hearts are full of malice. One of the areas that I think we need to guard against malice in is in the political realm. See, it's possible to have a biblical view about an issue, but a wrong attitude about it, particularly about the opponents on the, of that issue, people who have a different view on that issue. They are not the enemy. Let's not mistake the enemy with people. I've noticed that malice in the political world is contagious. And it is why, even though a lot of these media groups and talk shows on radio and television shows that have a particular political point of view, they may agree with me, but they have a toxic spirit about them. And I have said, I am not going to engage with those things. Now, on a personal level, the root of malice is often unforgiveness. Regina Hockett was a mother in a middle-class neighborhood in Nashville. She was at a grocery store with her 12-year-old daughter one evening, and the 12-year-old daughter ran out to the car to get a quarter so she could get something from the gumball machine. Well, mom heard some confusion, some noise outside. She stepped outside and found her daughter lying dead in the parking lot. It took a good three years before she found found out what had happened that night. A couple of guys in their renegade group trying to make a name for themselves drove around and that night actually shot three people. They drove into this grocery store parking lot looking to kill some random person. They actually chose a middle school, middle-aged lady they missed with their assault rifle, their one guy, and hit this 12-year-old honor student. Needless to say, mom was devastated and depressed. But because of this thought that her daughter was in heaven, she was able to come to a place where she was able to say two words that she never thought she'd be able to say. I forgive. In fact, she even joined an organization that ministered to prisoners. And on her first visit to death row, there was the killer of her daughter. And instead of feeling malice, hatred, anger towards this guy, because she had found out that they had dysfunctional backgrounds and been praying for them, she actually felt pity. She forgave them, and there was no malice in her heart. Friends, we need to do the same thing. We need to forgive people so that there's no malice in our heart. I would like to pray together. Lord Jesus, we know, I know what it is to have malice in my heart. Because you've forgiven me and because you're God, it's your job to judge and not mine. 
I want to choose to forgive anyone that's wounded me. And I pray for my viewers and listeners that they would choose to forgive anyone that has wounded them. I pray in Jesus' name. Hey, I would love to pray for you. If you're on a platform that allows it, please write what your prayer request is in the comments. And until next time, may you get rid of all malice.